Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing video for you guys today. I found an article from fortune.com that you guys are going to absolutely love. It's talking about the housing bubble in Boise and Phoenix and how it's come and the prices are coming down. And if we go over to the Redfin weekly housing data, we're gonna kind of match the data with some of what the article is uh, saying. So let's go back to the article real quick and let's just read a little bit and we'll kind of go back and forth. This is actually starting to look like really good news for anybody who's in the market to buy a house really. Now, if you're in the market to sell a house, I would say your window is closing really, really fast. I mean, if you don't have your, if you don't have your house on the market by now, I mean, like, things are going to start dropping in price. You might, you know, if you, I think that if you have a nice house right now, you know, with all the upgrades in a nice uh, area with a good school district, you should be pretty good to list your house and sell it for a top price. I think that if your house is in that not so desirable area, in a school district that might not be that, you know, nice, and if the house is just kind of old and needs a lot of upgrades, then you possibly you're, it's gonna be harder to sell that house. Those are the types of houses that I predict, you know, drop the average a little bit, right? Uh, so anyways, let me just read a little bit and we'll kind of jump into the graph um, right, um, right after. So before governors relaxed stay at home orders two years ago, white collar professionals already fleeing the prices and uh, price departments in cities like San Francisco. So basically they, uh, a lot of the, a lot of people moved from the big cities where they were making a ton of money, you know, during the pandemic, they moved to places like Idaho, um, like Boise and Idaho. And you got to understand like the, you know, the town of uh, Boise, you know, it doesn't support that type of, 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 of salaries, right? So you got people that are making money from San Francisco now living in a small, you know, somewhat of a small town. So you can see how those people were like, oh my God, a house for 300,000, boom, you know, throw in extra. It doesn't matter because they're used to things being so expensive in San Francisco. Plus they're making that San Francisco salary. So basically it, it sent houses, you know, climbing, look, inventory. So um, it, it, shot, it shot it up like crazy and it shot it up a little bit too fa fast. Here, let's read a little bit more. But that Boise honeymoon is over, right? That's uh, interesting. While well, sp uh, spiking mortgage rates have pushed the overall housing market into a slowdown, it has delivered particular hard blow to Boise housing market that has seen both Boise home sales plummet down 28% on a year-over-year -year basis and inventories level surge of 161% this year, also chipping away at the home values, according to Zillow. So look, let's jump in real here, uh, real quick to Boise. Okay, here we go. Look at this, okay? New listings. Now, black is 2022. So everything was going fine. This is a normal, you know, trajectory over the summer. You could see this happening. Uh, this is from um, 2019 is, is blue, red is 2020, and 2021 is orange. So this dip right here was coronavirus. This was the height of the lockdown pandemics, and you can see what it did. And black is right now. This is new listings. So this is how many, everyone's putting their house up for sale. You know, as people, some people might have to go back to work in San Francisco or whatever, or they need to leave Boise. You know, regardless, people are putting their house up for sale. And what is it doing here? Check this out. Now you saw, now if we look at the home sold, right? You saw the big spike of new houses, but look at this. Houses are way down. And this is the average, right? And this is the year over year. So you can see how this is right around this area right here is when the feds lowered uh, uh raised the interest rates and then we started seeing this decline right here so things are not looking good right um but now to put in this into uh, into the mix look at that rise in in new inventory right new homes so this is totally out of the normal and now you can see that 
even less houses are being sold. So what is that gonna happen? What's gonna happen now is you're gonna see this drop even more. And let me tell you guys, tomorrow, it's looking like the feds are gonna uh, raise the interest rates just a little bit more. So kind of crazy here. Let's go back to the article real quick and let's look at uh, Phoenix, Arizona, okay? Let's see what's happening in Phoenix, Arizona real quick. So let me change it. And we're going down to Phoenix, Phoenix right here. Phoenix, Arizona, same thing. Look at this, houses sold going down. Let's look at new listings. New, okay, so here, new listing in, in the Phoenix metro area, it's kind of a little bit high, but it doesn't look like it's kind of in that normal range. Now, remember 2020, this was the height of the pandemic, and it kind of went sort of back to normal. The normal, more than, you know, I would say 2019 is like the average normal, right? The blue one. So we do have a little bit more inventory right now, but it looks like the inventory is less than, it's a, you know, it's, it's semi like on the average, more or less to me. But what we do have is when you go to home sold, you can see when the interest rates were here, look at all those people, uh, look at the prices, just uh, look at the amount of homes just uh, drop, right? And look at blue is kind of our average. So we're way below our average. So if this continues, guys, this is gonna continue going down, down and down. So like I said, uh, they're raising interest rates tomorrow. So what does this mean to you, right? What this means really is, well, you know, you're gonna have, a, if you're looking to sell a house to me, in my personal opinion, is you probably wanna list ASAP. Because, you know, imagine if you wait a few months, you know, look at the average in general. In general, it's gonna go down, right? So if you wait, you know, I mean, I think, I think if you wait, the worse you're gonna be. Now, if you're looking to buy a house, I think you need to wait. You need to wait at least till next year to start really thinking about it. And what does that do? Basically, right now, you know, buying a house is incredibly difficult. So right now you gotta gather all your little eggs, right? You need your down payment. You need to be able to qualify for a loan, which means you most likely are gonna need a W-2 job for at least two years. It's probably the best situation, it's the easiest. If you are married, um, if you, if your spouse, if they could have a W-2 job, even better, right? And what you really wanna do is save as much money as possible. Now, getting into a house is very difficult. You need a big down payment. And it's okay to sometimes maybe ask uh, any family members, especially if you have parents who, you know, might have a little bit of money left over. Let me tell you, $10,000, you know, doesn't sound like much when you're trying to put, you know, over a hundred thousand down payment, but yeah, it helps quite a bit. It, it Sometimes it could get you over the hunch. So you're really, you know, to have something nice in a nice area, you know, more or less around, you know, not every, like I know there's very expensive areas in the United States, but like as a whole, you know, if you have like anywhere from like four to 500,000, if that's your budget, you can get something nice in a good school district in a nice area, um, you know, and, and you, you know, to, to buy a $500,000 house, you need to put 20% down right, which you need $100,000 cash, plus you need a little bit more, uh, you know, for the deal to go through. So you need to save up. So that's the key, guys. That is the key and that's the name of the game. So anyways, I hope this data helped you guys understand a little bit about what's happening. And if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.